My name is Donald Trump, and I'm running for president. Of what? Of the United States. Of what? Of America. Which America? North! Oh, hell. Let's try this again, please. You know, I am Donald Trump, and I am running for president of the United States. You know, Billy, Bernadette, and even some of the Republican nominees, you know, they're far too liberal and politically correct. I say what people really feel. Am I going to apologize for it? Probably not. Plymouth Rock didn't land on us. I mean, let me just say it. Let's just be real, people. Black people landed on Plymouth Rock and wanted the real Americans, which is us, to give it to them for free. I'm just saying. Yo, what the f- I will restore America back to its former glory day, where we excluded everyone that didn't conform to the status quo. You know, Eric, I'm just gonna tell you like this, and this is just me. The homosexuals of America are a strain on the economy. Let's just be honest. L listen, okay, you can boo me all you want, but listen. Let's just be honest. The Bible says, be fruitful and multiply. It didn't say be vegetable and divide, did it? I don't think so. I don't know about you, but Adam and Eve makes more sense to me. I'm just saying, listen, not Adam and Steven or even Jeb Bush. I'm just, hey, it doesn't make sense. It's straining the American economy. Let's work together to make America unhomo again. I am Donald Trump, and I'm just saying, I endorse this hate, okay? Uh, Mr. Trump, today you have a meeting with your campaign manager to discuss the details of you announcing your candidacy for president. I didn't understand anything you just said. I, uh, you know, could you repeat that in English, please? I just don't understand your Arabic. Sorry. I'm Asian, sir. Oh, who said that? Um, my heritage, sir. Mugu Gaipang? Sorry, I'm not hungry. Oh my god, let's try this again, okay? Mr. Trump, you have a meeting with your campaign manager. Do you understand now? Year of the Red Monkey? Is that what you're saying? This man is really working overtime on my nerves. The things he says are just way over the top. This motherfucker, he's very demeaning to many cultures. But it's a dollar. <laughs> No, seriously, it's, it's, it's a dollar. The car is waiting outside, Mr. Trump, to take you to the campaign headquarters. Are you the one that will be driving? Cause, you know, hi. Uh, you don't pay enough, motherfucker. I was just about to say, you know, cause you Australians, you know, don't hate me for it. You know, you don't like to use your turn signals. Hey, I said it. Don't hate me. It's what everybody says. I'm Asian. Again, I'm Asian, sir. Egg roll? Now I'm hungry for some American-made food. Good. Mr. Trump, today you will announce you run for the presidency as a Republican candidate at the 9-11 memorial, and we- Do you think that's a good idea? It's a perfect idea, sir. I mean, hey, you know, don't hate me. It's what everybody says. You know, with you being a part of ISIS and all, you know, just checking. Sir, I am not a part of ISIS. What about Jihad? No, sir. Al-Qaeda? Sir, no. Now, if we could get back to... Uh, well, what about the beehive? Yes, I am in the beehive, but I don't see how that correlates with... I not. I am in fear of my life. Raise the terror level to neon red. I'm just saying. Are you f***ing kidding me? This man is a and a How dare he say some up like that to me. I am George Bush, Ronald Reagan, and the flesh. Hey, that's just me. Oh my god, I need a Valium. This is outstandingly unpatriotic. It really is. It's like Marco Rubio running for president. I'm patriotic. I'm just saying what everybody else says. We've taken the liberty to prepare a speech for you. Mr. Morales has agreed to be the campaign speechwriter, and he... Morales as in, what, Taco Bell? <sighs>
Mr. Trump, it's a great pleasure to be part of this campaign. Do you speak all the English language, O? I speak English quite well. I was born and raised here in the United States. I attended Duke University after graduating as valedictorian of my high school class. Sorry, I'm just sorry. I'm just going to say it. I didn't get anything you just said. Can we bring the hand person in to translate? Jesus, cover me and keep me near your cross because I hate to have to turn this man into a chalupa. America is the f of the world. You may ask yourself why, and I even ask myself, and I'll tell you why. Listen, we have allowed America to be entered into like a whore entering a crack house. Hey, everybody's thinking it. You say it at home. Why not I say it out loud and in public? Hey, listen, it's tremendously unpatriotic. Just tremendous. Let me just say this. Hey, listen. Okay, immigrants have taken over. Everywhere you go, people are looking to get over on the government and strain the economy. Hey, look at Marco Rubio. Immigrant, you know? I didn't write that. I did not write that. I told you he was a character. Do you have some acid? I would like to drop some in my ears. Shit! Let's take a little time to do a retrospect of America. You know, let's go back in history, time machine people. Listen, since the beginning, people have wanted everything to be given to them and they give nothing in return. Hey, it's in the history books. You read about it in school. Hey, listen, why is that? That's not the way of the world. That's not the way George Washington would have wanted it. Hey, it's not what America can do for you. She has done enough. Think about what you need to do to keep her off her knees like a prostitute servicing someone, okay? Make it stop! Make it stop! Trust me, he just getting started. So, with that being said, I stand before you today to say, Hey, why don't we all make America white again? <sighs> I'm done. I cannot do this shit no more. I'm sick of it, motherfucker. My name is Donald Trump, and I am running for president of the United States of America. There will be no further comment. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, I see you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I thought they were going to give us free hot dogs and lemonade for this bullshit.